Hey everybody, how you doing? Into Weapons back again with you. Wanted to do a quick video today on replacing the folding stock on my Sentry Arms uh, VZ-2000A with a fixed stock that I purchased off eBay. Uh, this rifle is pretty popular lately. You can get a, a pretty good package deal from a couple different retailers where you get all the accessories in the rifle itself for right around $500. That is the folding stock option. Uh, there isn't a whole lot of options out there for the fixed stock variant. Uh, I believe J&G Sales is the only retailer that I'm aware of that has them in stock right now and they want close to $900, which, you know, just for the same rifle for $500 plus a fixed stock, uh, it certainly isn't worth $900 in my opinion. So uh, I went an alternative route and found one online from eBay uh, from a seller named Podmaniky, P-O-D-M-A-N-I-C-K-Y, ran me a total of $44 from the Czech Republic, it's surplus, uh, but unused, unissued, so it was in really good condition, and for $44 you certainly can't go wrong. The reason I wanted to replace the full-length stock mainly was to uh, have a better cheek weld where it wasn't beating the heck out of my face. Uh, I think I put a total of 80 rounds to this thing, and I just had a massive lump on my cheek. It was just very uncomfortable. I'm not a big, very big paracord wrapper guy or a cheek riser type thing like that, so uh, I decided just to go with the, the fixed stock, which also adds you know, the, the authenticity to it with the look of the you know, what they call the beaver bar for the wood impregnated with plastic, uh, which is actually what it is. Uh, so this is kind of what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to just do a quick video on uh, kind of what I did to the stock or from its original you know, shipping when I got it and uh, what came with it, that kind of thing. And then we'll do an install video real quick to show you guys kind of how this goes on and off uh, or how to replace it. The stock itself was, uh, it, it came pretty much looking like the hand guards and the pistol grip on this rifle. As you can see, it's just, you know, it's got a dull finish to it. It's a little bit beat up. It's it's definitely shown some wear. Probably from a parts kit would be my guess. You know, just surplus again, but probably surplus that was used. This came, it was, uh, you know, a little bit in better shape. It didn't have the wear marks or as much, but it was a very dull uh, color. And I'll throw in a before and after picture of when I got it to when it shows now, and I'll show that now. But uh, as you can see, it, it's much better off now. And what I did was put on, uh, let's see, Three coats of birch, or I sanded actually the seams. I should start with that. The seams along the top here were in pretty rough condition on the on the front and or on the top and bottom. I sanded that with a 320 grit sandpaper just to get it down and more of a consistent level. Uh, from that point, then I put on three coats of the Birchwood KC True Oil, which comes in this little can here. I think I got it. This stuff here. So three coats of that, just letting it dry a couple hours between each coat, uh, and then sanding and then applying another coat. And then I did two coats of the Minwax spray on polyurethane, which I think I have here as well. Yeah, right here. This stuff. And really what the uh, True Oil did was kind of make the uh, pores fill in, made it a real smooth surface, a real nice uh, smooth surface all the way across. There isn't any bumps or anything like that. And the uh, spray on polyurethane gave it a nice hard protection layer. So uh, both those things working together gave uh, the finish that you see now and it's a nice hard durable protection on there. Um, so the uh, after that then we I just cleaned up the metal parts that I came with. As you can see here I got the, the butt pad there, the uh, uh, screw that holds it in there and actually the screw is much longer than the folding stock screw so they are two different screws you'll note that when we do the install uh, the one screw here that holds in the butt pad and this sling swivel uh, and then we have the front pad uh, base pad that goes on the, the front of the the stock so came with all that I cleaned all that up oiled it got it ready to go so it lasts a good long time uh, we'll go ahead and do an install video here real quick we'll just set up and come back with you Okay, so installation is pretty straightforward. What we're going to do is just going to go ahead and start off right by getting this ready and putting our pad here, the base plate, on the front of the stock. And we're going to put this little tab here right at the top. That helps everything kind of go together. Just pop it right on there just like that. From that point, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and maybe remove the folding stock from the VZ2008. And to do that, in the back here, we're going to go ahead and just get the folder and kind of fold it over. Uh, you don't have to fold it all the way in, that's not that big of a deal, but you'll notice there's a, a screw right there. It's a flathead screw, it's a pretty big one. Uh, it's a short screw, but they do sometimes use red Loctite in there. And that can make it very difficult to get it out, uh, or out I should say. I've heard some people use heat, I've heard some people use an impact wrench. Um, you know, it's going to be probably difficult for you if you really have to get in there. I'm not really going to be able to give you a good way of getting in there except, uh, you know, some really good torque on it. Uh, or heating it up trying to get it off but fortunately mine did not have any red Loctite on there so 
uh, that's usually against my lock fortunately it uh, was easy for me to get in there so I was able just to crank this guy off and again this is a short screw and you'll notice the difference between this screw and the uh, replacement screw we're going to use for the fixed stock and this will essentially just come right off and you'll notice it's uh, just two pieces so very simple nothing much to it here's the old screw uh, here's the replacement screw and uh, obviously there's a difference there because it's uh, got to go through the butt stock here so we'll go ahead and set our folding stock aside uh, from that point let's go ahead and get this started we'll go ahead and kind of set the gun up here and we're just going to test to make sure everything kind of goes together like it should in fact I'll give you kind of an angle look here what it's going to look like it's kind of like that more or less and uh, we'll go ahead and try to get this in here on camera where I can show you guys a good angle maybe somehow I don't really know how that's going to work but we'll do our best so we're going to start with our uh, long screw and we're going to need a longer screwdriver than this probably to get in there and I do have a, a real long one which is kind of a funny one here but this guy is one of the biggest screwdrivers I've ever seen and uh, we'll go ahead and slide this down into the stock and hopefully we can get it to land inside the hole there that we need to get through using that lock washer there and with any lock we'll be able to get this through without too much grief on camera yep I got her great and uh, as you can see I'm popping through now on this side and it doesn't really go through that far it really sticks out maybe a uh, quarter of an inch there so uh, just uh, like the other stock, it just needs to uh, plug in just a little bit into the gun. Uh, so from that point then, we're just going to go ahead and line up the stocks. And just for the sake of you guys being able to see it, I'm going to kind of go in from a weird angle here. And try to get this in where you can kind of see me screwing it in. Not that you don't understand how to screw something in, that's for sure. But uh, we'll just go ahead and tighten it up there real nice. You don't want to over tighten because... There's no brace on the inside of this gun, or on, in the inside of the stock, I should say, that's kind of holding everything together. There's no steel reinforcements. It's all just this beaver barf, I guess is what they call it for short. Uh, but it's all formed out of that. So if you crank too hard on this thing, it will crack the whole butt stock on the inside. So really just hand tighten it. Don't go too far. And then just check to make sure it's on solid enough. If you got a little bit of wiggle, maybe go a little bit tighter, which I'll have to do here. So it just wiggles just the slightest bit. But just ease it in there, guys. Real nice and easy. You certainly don't want to break anything. And we'll stop right there. I think we got it. It's on there nice and tight. I don't think that's going anywhere. Uh, grabbing the sling swivel here popping it in place we're going to use our butt pad we're going to stick that right on the back and what you want to do is make sure that your holes here in the sling swivel are lined up appropriately with the uh, with the hole that you're going to be using for the screw to hold everything in place and you'll be able to tell if you're in place or not because it should go pretty easily in and if it doesn't go pretty easily in, you probably have to make a little bit of an adjustment which isn't easy because it's all loose up here but just rock it back and forth till you're able to find the hole or pull it back out and readjust until you can kind of feel it slide in there when you're screwing it in you really shouldn't have much resistance it should go in pretty easily we'll just crank this in here real quick that's going to hold everything in place Again, don't over tighten on that. And that's pretty much it, guys. Pretty straightforward installation. As you can see now, I got a nice fixed stock on there. It'll make uh, shouldering the weapon a lot easier. It'll also make uh, a cheek weld much more comfortable, hopefully. I know these things are still known for a little bit of cheek slap, but as long as you get your nose up to the sights, you shouldn't have an issue like that. My only problem now is that I got a buttstock that is much prettier than my pistol grip, as you can see there, and my handguard. So it looks like I have a little bit more of a project on my hands to go back and 
finish those up a little bit but let me know what you guys think hopefully this helps somebody out if they're thinking about replacing their folding stock with a fixed stock uh, hopefully maybe I'll get some range videos in here in the next few weeks and stay tuned for that if you're interested otherwise uh, if you have any questions let me know appreciate you watching till next time take it easy